guys, it's Charlotte, your favorite girl on the mic. Don't tell Whitney I said that. She'll probably attack me. But I'm here with Mr. Hank Stewart and Mr. Suave R. Walker. And if you guys listened into the show on Sunday, we were talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. And what better way, to, you know, to learn about relationships? Don't take my advice, okay? I'm a bitter 18-year-old. I will give you the worst advice. You will be walking around here single like myself. <laughs> so what better advice, you know, to give than these two? And on Sunday, we were talking about dates, mm -hmm. and we were telling Mr. Hank that boys today don't pay, mm -hmm. or they'll be looking at you when you're like, oh, um, we should go on a date. A date? Yeah, and you should pay. Pay? You just a gold digger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Hank shared his opinion on that. What do you think about that? Should men pay for the first date? I believe so. Mm -hmm. I believe in shipper. I, I also think that we have to start separating and understand the difference between adult males and men, mm -hmm. and a real man with no disposition. Mm. <laughs> Even our camera girl got a little flustered by that. And I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not like chivalry to me is dead in our generation. It is. Would that be a stretch to say? I, 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 don't, I don't think it's dead, but I think it's on life support. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's dead, but I definitely think it's on life support, and I think we, which means it can be revived. Uh, but we got to work in this wall, but we we'll jump in there. I think that there's some, there's definitely some training that needs to be done, a retraining mm -hmm. um, that needs to be done. And I think uh, it's, it's a job that we all have. Um, um, as women, I think the job is, you know, if, if you walk into a door, it's probably jump in here if you think. But don't just stand there and look at the door. And if, uh, if he would look at that door um, with you until, you know, and you motion down at the door and let him know that it's time. We, we've got to we've got to retrain, and I and I work with my son on that. You know, opening the door and sharing, uh, you know, and making sure that we are um, recording our young ladies. Absolutely. Yeah, I do believe. I agree. I think um, we as men developing and nurturing, them. and I think when as I'm saying, I can work with my son. It's chivalry since he was two years old. Mm -hmm. So it's natural to him. Mm -hmm. That's He does it each and every day mm -hmm. of his life. And that's something I do. And I think what happens is they just have to have a higher standard. Mm -hmm. And when you walk into a car and he's walking on one side and you walking on the other side, you just need to just look at him one way. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, something in that man or that adult male will kick in and say, wait a minute. And at that point, he will come around. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say anything. Mm -hmm. And it will kick in, but I think you have to um, not necessarily demand those things, but command them. So what advice would you give to young women like myself? I, you know, a lot of people tell us, oh, don't worry about love. It's not that big a deal. And you can tell me that, mm -hmm. and I'll be listening sometimes, but on those days, you know, my cookie dough ice cream is just not going to keep me company sometimes. So what advice would you give to us as far as dating and relationships and love? What would you say to young women? Well, actually, um, I think that we just really, I, my advice to give to young ladies is really concentrate on loving yourself. Mm -hmm. um, life is just too short and too precious for any justification and excuse you can make for not loving yourself. And I think once you have a, build a strong relationship with yourself instead of being preoccupied with other relationships, then you will start understanding yourself and what it's all about. And I think to, 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 you know, to add to what Mrs. Swaff said, I think one thing that you can do is prepare yourself, get ready. You know, I think one of the best things to do, if I'm waiting on you to mm -hmm. come to pick me up uh, while I'm waiting, I can clean out a drawer, you know, uh, do something productive mm -hmm. while I'm waiting on you. So, you know what, by the time you get there, uh, when I come back, there are some things in my house that's more in order now. Mm -hmm. so, so you want to put yourself, I think you want to continue to put yourself in place. Um, you know, but that, I think there's some things that, you know, my mom, you know, I remember when I was a little boy and if, if I didn't feel well, uh, she would give us castor oil. And we hated the castor oil as well, so she would put it in orange juice, mm -hmm. you know, and so she, that was her chaser. So I think there's some things that sometimes women can do also to help encourage men along. You know, like one of the things that I absolutely, that make, you want to know what really makes me feel good when I go out on a date and I open, what makes me really feel good. Yeah. When I come around the door, uh, the car and open the door for that lady. This makes me feel really good. You ready for this? Yeah, wait. Hold and, on, I got okay, okay, you ready? That take that this, okay. okay. When, I, when I walk around the door to open the door for her, uh -huh. and I'm walking back around the car, uh -huh. 
and she's reached over and opened my door. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that makes me feel so I never thought good. About that. I got the chance right makes, now. That, that makes me feel so good. Yes. And I think what it does is it shows it puts you in a whole different light, even with that man. Mm -hmm. And so it, 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 it actually puts the onus back on him because now he's, you know, he's looking like, okay, if I open up this, it, there's, a, there's that relationship, there's that give, that take, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it was reciprocal. So, you know, I, I challenge women to, open, you know, when he opens the door, just put, lean over. I mean, it's amazing the feeling that he would have just with that. Mm -hmm. So, guys, you heard it here, you know. Things will look up for us if you're a single 18 year old. It might get old sometimes, but that's okay. And like they said, love yourself. I think that's something that a lot of young girls forget. We're so busy trying to chase after people and, oh, maybe I should do this to get him to like me. When the thing is, I might do this a little too much. Maybe I can lessen it. Like, I'm the bomb. And somebody can leave me tomorrow, but I'm going to still be there with myself. So, and. Nobody's going to love you if you don't love yourself. I think that's something a lot of girls have to remember. But I want to thank you guys for joining me today. And if you guys were wondering why me and uh, Hank have on all white, white linen and a bear, I feel real crisp. Makes me feel real clean. So check this out, guys, 3girlsinamike.com. And thank you again, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.